Have you ever wondered how a vampire drinks blood? Well, in a cup, of course. They're not savages. <laughs> but what kind of a cup does a vampire even use? Well, menstrual cups. <laughs> I'm sorry for that disgusting PJ. I am Dr. Tanya, also known as Dr. Cutris, and today I'm here to tell you all about this tiny little revolution. Today we're talking all about the menstrual cup. So a menstrual cup is basically a tiny silicone, rather cute little cup that fits inside your vagina. So your uterus has a little exit hole called the cervix and right underneath the cervix is your vagina which is like a long tunnel. Inside the tunnel it fits the cup and since it sits right underneath the uterus all the blood that comes out of the uterus gets straight in here. It gets collected in here and then after you're done with you know filling this up with all of your blood for your vampire friends you can dump it in the toilet rinse it and put it right back inside so it's like really reusable a menstrual cup on an average lasts between five to ten years as long as you don't like really bend it all the time and break it so it's a really sustainable option wait you heard that right you don't have to buy anything for five to ten years. This one tiny little friend of yours is the only period product you need for the next five to ten years. That means none of that monthly doso rupee ka kharcha on buying a new packet of pads that the chemist will wrap in five layers of newspapers and then a black collagen to give to you. No, 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 no. With a menstrual cup, you embrace your periods. You fall in love with your periods. You know why? Because there are hardly ever any leaks and you can wear it for up to 12 hours. You heard that right. You can wear this up to 12 hours so you can wear this overnight. The reason why you can wear this for so long is because the menstrual cup is made of something called medical grade silicone. This means that it doesn't react with your body and if it doesn't react with your body, you can leave it in there for a while but not more than 12 hours. Please don't do that. <laughs> the way to use it is that when you're on your period, you fold it in the fold of your choice. There are many different choices available. There are many different folds available. You fold it, you insert it in your vagina where it pops open, oops, and it collects all of your blood. Once it's full, you dump out all of the blood, rinse it and pop it right back inside. And you keep doing this until your period is over. So to demonstrate how this cup fits inside you, I'm going to use a model. Da -da -da. <laughs> so this shows you the external genitalia. This is what we call the vulva. This is the clitoris. This is the jacket hoodie, the clitoral hood over the clitoris. These are the lips and inside that entire cavity, this entire cavity is called your vagina. And that little stopper thingy at the end, that donut, that's your cervix. And the cervix is kind of like the bouncer that stands at the entrance of a club. So this is the bouncer that stands at the entrance of your uterus and doesn't let anything get inside. So when you use a cup, the fold I use is called a punch down fold where you literally punch down and then hold it like this. So it makes a small little mouse that you can gently insert inside yourself. And once you've inserted it, you press here so it opens up. So let me demonstrate that for you. So I've punched down, it's folded up. Now I'm going to insert it inside the vagina, punch down again so it opens up. And this is a model so there's not proper lubrication, but and this is how it fits. See? It's sitting snugly inside, held by the walls of the vagina. And if the lips were closed, you won't even be able to see it. And this is how a menstrual cup fits inside you. It's held in place by the muscles of your vagina. And if the lips were closed, you wouldn't even be able to see it. Look at how cutely it fits. And when you have to take it out, don't just grab this and yank. Okay? You have to break the seal. And the way to break the seal is, First, one of the things that works very well is that you squat down. So if you squat down, this already relaxes you. And once you're a little bit relaxed, put your hands inside, use the stem to guide you, this stem, and use it to guide you to find the base. 
Once you find the base of the cup, gently pinch it. Pinching it will release the seal and then you can pull it out, throw out the blood, rinse this and pop it right back inside. When your period is over, you just boil this in water for a bit which sterilizes it and then you pop it back in your cupboard until your next period. When your period is here, rinse it again, pop it back inside and welcome to another cycle of periods and this goes on for the next 5 to 10 years or until your menstrual cup lasts. I'm not joking, you can really use it for that long. A cup is really safe to use. It sits inside your vagina so it just kind of hangs out there doing nothing. And because it's made of medical grade silicone, you're going to be alright. A lot of people are concerned about using a cup as a virgin. Now, this is completely safe to use. You have to remember that if the hymen is something that is very important to you, you may tear your hymen a little bit when using a cup. The hymen is not a complete block at the entrance of your vagina. Your hymen already has holes in it and this is how the period blood comes out every month. If your hymen were a complete block, all the period blood would get like chopped up in there. And this is actually a medical condition called an imperforate hymen where usually people come in with a vagina, a uterus, everything full of blood and we have to make an incision or a cut into their hymen so that they can drain out all their period blood that they've been collecting over years because you know the hymen if their hymen doesn't have holes or the blood can't go out and that is not fun so your hymen already has holes in it so it's safe to use but if this is something of a real concern to you you may want to skip this but you i hope you remember that virginity is a social construct and you don't have to show your hymen to anybody to prove your virginity or you don't have to prove your virginity to anybody because that's bullshit anyway coming back to the cup let's understand the parts of a cup so the cup is quite simple it's a cup <laughs> it has a little stem at the end that you can use to pull it out of yourself and it's got tiny air holes on the inside your cup also has the size mentioned on the inside and for choosing the correct size for yourself you have to look on the website of the cup you're buying Usually cups come in two sizes, the small size for people who have never given birth vaginally and the large size for people who have given birth vaginally. So if you've had a cesarean section, you're supposed to use a small cup. Your cup size, like I said, is mentioned on the inside and along with this is also the amount of blood that's coming out of you. So mine says 10 ml, 15 ml and 20 ml. So you can measure how much blood you're leaking out in a day. That's so fun, right? So yeah. These are the parts of your cup and the important thing to remember with your cup is that make sure the air holes are always clean. If your air holes are blocked, it can be difficult for the cup to create a seal and if no vacuum is formed, you can get leaks. Now if you are getting leaks, you know how, you know the drill. Just check if the air holes are clean and if it's still leaking for you, try a couple of different folds. What I do recommend for everybody is that when they do start using a cup for the first time, it takes about two or three cycles to really get used to it. Because you know it's a new thing and most of us are not so familiar with our bodies. So take two or three cycles to really understand how it fits inside your body, how comfortable you are, how often you have to change it and within three to four cycles you're going to be a pro at it. Give it time and have some patience and this is an investment into your life, your future and the future of the planet. I hope you enjoy using the cup and I'll see you the next time with another fun video. Bye! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.